Hello everyone, welcome to Anime No Me, and thank you for joining us for another One Piece video. The final fate of the Straw Hats and many other characters in the world of One Piece is uncertain, and we don't exactly know when the end of the work is actually going to be. But until these events come, we certainly can come up with some ideas about what may happen towards the end of our story. So in today's video, we're going to talk about the possible characters that may end up having a relationship with Luffy, whether they get married towards the end of One Piece. I will also talk about the relationship that Luffy has with these characters currently. But before we dive into the video. If you're new to the channel or even if you've watched a bunch of our videos, we'd be absolutely honored if you'd leave us a like and even subscribe and maybe leave us a comment letting us know what you thought of the video. It really helps us out and motivates us to make more content. And if you'd like to help out the channel in a bigger way, consider sharing this video or another one of your favorites with a friend. But without further ado, let's get into the video. So my friends, let's first start talking about Nami and her relationship with Luffy nowadays. Now throughout the course of our One Piece story, we've seen that Nami and Luffy are the best of friends. Although Nami does often pick on Luffy because of his crazy ideas, and is one of the few people that can really keep our rubber captain in check. In fact, Nami and Luffy share one of the closest relationships among the Straw Hats, possessing a mutual trust with each other, with Luffy relying on Nami as the Straw Hats navigator, and Nami trusts Luffy as a pillar of their crew and their captain. These two are often seen arguing due to Nami being frustrated with Luffy's antics and stupidity, and Luffy being annoyed with Nami for being arrogant and ruining their fun. However, they always care deeply for each other and balance each other out. Luffy is the fighter and Nami is the thinker. Nami is also the one that tends to make sure that Luffy doesn't do anything too reckless, having to explain to Luffy why he can't do some of the crazy things he wants to do, and often scolding him for his careless actions, whether they're big or small. However, for Nami, Luffy is also the person that she can turn to and trust when she's emotionally distressed or afraid, and Luffy always comforts her in those moments when she is having these problems. Nami never doubts Luffy in a fight and is often impressed and in inspired by his achievements and his strength and determination. And despite her sometimes past faith in him, she is regularly worried about Luffy and tries to take care of him. Luffy, for his part, has absolute loyalty and faith in Nami and has never doubted her. Even when she betrayed him, Luffy's opinion of her did not waver, and he remained determined to have her in his crew, despite Zoro and Usopp's protests, stating that he wouldn't accept anyone else as his navigator. Throughout their adventures, Nami is the only person whom Luffy has repeatedly given given his straw hat, either to use as a source of comfort before fighting or to take care of it, really showing that Luffy indeed trusts her with his most cherished treasure. Nami noticeably enjoys seeing Luffy happy, and she can't help but smile while listening to him, just as Luffy is also happy to see her happy, potentially becoming an even stronger bond between them in the future. Moving on, the next character that we'll talk about is Nico Robin, and of all the members of his crew, Robin is the one whom Luffy shares a complete and healthy relationship with, as the two get along extremely well and have never even argued. After she joined the Straw Hats, Robin has remained a trusted and devoted friend to Luffy, even willing to give her life to help Luffy face a difficult situation. Both care deeply for each other and respect each other's ability, and among the Straw Hats, Robin has been by far the most patient and calm with Luffy, and she's not the least bit irritated by his stupidity, his recklessness, or carelessness, unlike the rest of the crew, and in fact, she sometimes seems to admire these very qualities. Robin always tends to smile through Luffy's mischief and she's also has a great interest in Luffy since they met, always liking the Straw Hat Captain's bold and direct personality. This interest in her captain has been prevalent since she met him, and while talking with Ganfall and Skypea, she acknowledged his comment about Luffy's strange aura that reminds him of Goldie Roger, telling him that Luffy is a very interesting person. Now, while this interest was an initial motive behind her decision to join the crew, she has come to see Luffy as a genuinely close friend, being very grateful to Luffy for saving her life twice. Similar to Zoro and Nami, she completely accepts Luffy's decisions as captain and does not hesitate in any situation she is put in by his reckless adventures. And she's often among the first people to follow Luffy in the battle and is fully prepared to face whoever is put in her way to help him. Now, Luffy cares immensely for Robin and would never tolerate anyone hurting her or taking her away. He has faith in her abilities as a fighter and trusts her whenever she goes out alone to complete a task. We've also seen that Robin often will take on some of Luffy's habits, such as repeating some of the nicknames that he gives to other people people, often annoying people just as Luffy does, and even possesses a great similarity in this respect. And they both have a very pleasant relationship to see, even though they have very different personalities, but they still match very well together, causing both to create a great friendship that may form into a deeper relationship in the future. The next person that we'll talk about is a crew member at large of the Straw Hats, and that is of course of Nefertari Vivi, the princess of the Alabasta Kingdom. She and Luffy are close friends, although they did start out as enemies, but have since developed 
developed a friendship since the end of the events in Alabasta. Vivi trusts Luffy completely and finds it amazing how strong he is. Meanwhile, Luffy sees Vivi as an extremely kind person and someone he wishes to be by his side. Luffy was even disappointed when she didn't join his crew at the end of the arc. Now, Vivi is often surprised by Luffy's laid-back attitude and lack of concern for dangerous situations he finds himself in. However, Vivi even seems to copy Luffy's pranks, like when he grabbed Usopp by the nose, she started doing the same thing. Vivi often gets worried about Luffy because of how hard he works and felt the need to watch him so that nothing bad would happen to him. And Vivi even put her life in danger to save Luffy. She became so close to Luffy, in fact, and the others, that she was almost willing to abandon her life as a princess and continue sailing with them as a crew member. But she chose not to do so in the end because she needed to take care of her kingdom of Alabasta. But even though she's not a current member of the Straw Hat crew, Vivi has kept a watchful eye over Luffy's adventures through the wanted posters and all of the newspaper stories that always come out about the Straw Hats. And Luffy, it seems, really cares for Vivi's company because at the end of the Alabasta saga, he begged her to join his crew. And although Vivi wished to join them permanently, she said with a heavy heart that she needed to stay because of her responsibilities as a princess. This choice, although respected, visibly upset Luffy as he wanted to continue their adventures together. However, he sees her as an honorary crew member of the Straw Hats and always appreciated the time that he shared with her as part of their crew. When the news reached the crew that Vivi was missing after the revelry in which Sabo attacked, Luffy tried to go directly to Alabasta and then Marijoua to save her until Zoro managed to remind him that, similar to Ace, they should have faith in their powers to defend themselves. But this also means that in the future, they will meet again at some point, allowing Vivi to bond even more with Luffy, thus turning this friendship into possibly something more for the future. The next person we're going to talk about is a character who's been getting a lot more focus in this latest arc on Egghead Island, and who is slowly becoming a very good friend to Luffy. And of course, we're talking about Jewelry Bonnie, captain of the Bonnie Pirates. Now, although they didn't interact before the time skip, Bonnie was shown to be quite excited to learn when Luffy had attacked a Celestial Dragon, causing the Marines to be called to the scene. Following the Dressrosa arc, we saw that Bonnie praised Luffy for defeating Doflamingo, showing that he was already keeping an eye on Luffy's action now that he was gaining a great reputation in the world. After entering Dr. Vegapunk's territory, Luffy ended up saving Bonnie from drowning after she escaped from the mouth of a mecha shark, after which she showed gratitude for having her life saved, but reminded him that they were still rivals. But even though they are rivals, they still get along very well together, sharing information, helping each other face enemies, and even eating together at certain times we've seen in this latest arc. Now, it's still too early to talk about how this relationship might come together between these two characters, but as it's happening, Luffy has even given Bonnie a nickname, calling her Bogey, so we can see that Luffy already considers her an ally. Finally, the last character we're going to talk about is one that has already professed their love for Luffy, and that's of course is Boa Hancock, the Empress of Amazon Lily. And as we saw throughout our story of One Piece, Hancock fell in love with Luffy after initially trying to take his life. And this relationship is quite special because it's defined by her complete and growing love for him. While he remains quite indifferent to her feelings, since he hardly shows any feelings of love for anyone, really any love for anything other than meat. However, Hancock's love for Luffy goes to some pretty decent extremes, leaving their normally stoic and serious demeanor whenever he's in his presence to often acting like a little girl in love. Because of her intense love for Luffy, Luffy helps him whenever possible, helping him face powerful enemies and even offering resources so that Luffy and his crew can continue their journey. Luffy, on the other hand, originally disliked Hancock and believed her to be a cruel person for attacking members of her own tribe who were simply defending him, Luffy. However, he began to like her after she ended up saving the three girls, finding it a very kind act coming from Hancock. Now, despite Luffy rejecting her proposals, Hancock's love for Luffy has only increased during the time skip, and with each refusal, she only becomes more determined to marry him. Although he refuses to marry her, he still seems to be happy for the things that Boa Hancock has already done for him, and he hopes to always see her again someday. Recently in the manga, we saw with the invasion of the Marines and the Blackbeard Pirates, Hancock decided to reunite with Luffy, so very soon we might get to see a new meeting between Luffy and Hancock, making this relationship all the more concrete. But now that we've covered all that, my friends, we'd love to know what you think about it. Which of these characters do you feel that Luffy might end up with or forming a relationship? Now, of course, we're talking about after he's become King of the Pirates and all that, but who do you think is most likely to end up with Luffy? Or if there's a different character that we didn't think about, let us know what you think in the comments below. So as we wrap up today's video and love story, we'd like to thank you all so much for watching the video all the way up to the very end. Please be sure to comment on any themes or ideas that you'd like to see in future videos. And also, since you made it this far, give us a like and hit that red subscribe button before you head out to take on the rest of your day. I hope to see you all in our next video, and let's keep sailing this giant sea together. Take care.